So I'm cold, hungry, thirsty, fasting for Ramadan, and I'm sleep deprived. So that means makeup. Okay. Now I should start by saying I'm so freaking cold. I should start by saying that I went on a no-buy in December. I'm also sweaty. I'm cold and sweaty. I went on a no-buy in December, and I've stuck to it. I haven't bought anything. I only replaced things that I ran out of. And I'm running out of things very quickly. I'm starting to notice. But anyways, um, so I'm not going to buy any of this makeup. Well, you know what? That's not true. Let's start with the thing that I'm might actually buy spongebob spongebob <laughs> spongebob collaborating with wet and wild meaning it's cheap we love affordable makeup i'm not gonna buy the palette or anything else except for the sponges because i only have one beauty sponge and it's a sponge that i share with my sister and i don't mind sharing but i, I would prefer to have two separate sponges so if i could find this in store at walmart then I'll buy one of the Wet n Wild Spongebob sponges. Either the Patrick Star one, the Spongebob or the Squidward one, whichever one I could find. Oh, and maybe a, a brush cleanser thingy so I could, you know, cleanse my brushes. But either way, this is a cute collection. This is like they stuck to the theme, which we don't see done very well very often. So good for Wet n Wild. Good for them. It's so cute. I love Spongebob. I love Spongebob. Next. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is scamming y'all. She's scamming you. She released eye contour duos. Man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Sorry. Eye contour du duos. Um, it's, sh it's bronzer. It's bronzer. Use your bronzer on your eyes. This is a scam. It's just brown eyeshadow. If you love makeup, you have brown eyeshadow. Don't let this woman steal your money. She's already a billionaire. She doesn't need any more. Kim Kardashian, do you think we're stupid? Do you think we're stupid? <laughs> Eye contour? It's a nude. And it's not even dark enough for dark skin people. Sorry. <laughs> Eye contour. Um, no, it's not. Use your bronzer. Let, let me show you. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Okay. This color, Katsina, like is obviously one of my favorite colors. Okay. Because it's like the perfect kind of like nudie brown for me. It's only a few shades darker than my actual skin tone. And it's like a perfect kind of like bronzy shade for me. This is my bronzer. Hold on. One moment, por favor. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer in shade 300. Do you see how similar they are? Like, obviously, the bronzer is a little darker. But, like, do you see how similar they are? Use your bronzer. Don't waste your money. Thank you. Ah, oh, Kim Kardashian. <sighs> Y'all are a bunch of liars. <sighs> I want to start by saying that I joined the beauty community... I guess you could say. Like, I've always watched beauty makeup videos. Beauty makeup. Okay. I've always watched makeup videos. Like, uh, the Michelle Fawn, uh, Candy Johnson, RCL Beauty One. Well, like, the, the OGs. I never watched Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill because she spoke too quickly. And I was, like, at the time when she was at her prime, I was just learning English. And I could never understand what she was saying. But anyways, I watched a lot of makeup videos. But I wasn't actually a makeup consumer. Like, I never actually purchased makeup until 2018, December 2018, to be more specific. But I've always heard that Anastasia Beverly Hills is, like, the brand. They have the best palettes, the best formula, the best concept. They are everything. They revolutionize makeup. They, like, they're up there. Um, But recently, <laughs> they released um, makeup wipes. We have like a skincare movement going on right now on TikTok and on the internet. And we're like kind of like not doing makeup wipes anymore because it's bad for the environment and it's bad for your skin. And they released makeup wipes. Anastasia. Ma'am. Um, no. <laughs> no. This is no. And then... To make it even worse, I guess, they released bronzers. What is going on with my computer? 
out or not bronzers they released a palette with a blush a highlighter and a bronzer the dark one the dark skin one if you can see on the model i'm gonna pretend like yeah, there's a picture right here that i'm gonna point at. um there's if you see on the model there the bronzer matches her skin tone Meaning that's not a bronzer for her, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, a bronzer is supposed to be darker than your skin tone, correct? That's not a bronzer for her. That's her skin tone. She could use that to set her face. So what's the point? <laughs> I'm so confused. They released this picture. They know we can see it. And yet they thought, I don't understand. Did they think we were going to see that and be like, oh my god, it's so cute. Everyone can use this bronzer. And and also, the palette for like medium skin tones and for deep skin tones, the bronzer looks the same. Does it not? So what's the point? There is no point, <laughs> is my point. Um, yeah, no. Anastasia, do better ma'am sweetheart do better i ha i have a feeling that they're gonna like very soon like the brand is either gonna shut down if they keep going like this we're not gonna have an anastasia beverly hills for longer which sucks because like i have the jackie Ina palette it's the only thing that i own from them and it's really good so i don't know what's going on with them but yeah no <laughs> this is a flop speaking of flop no hana be nice it's ramadan <laughs> Nikita Dragon released a mascara, and this this girl can't have one launch without controversy. She can't do anything without controversy. The problem is she's wearing false lashes in a mascara ad. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. She's she's wearing false lashes in a mascara ad. She looks stunning. No, 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 no. Like, Nikita Dragon is problematic. We're not denying that. But she's stunning. Like, she looks good. Um. <laughs> oh, she's wearing false lashes. Someone commented, being like, why are you wearing false lashes? And Nikita Dragon herself replied and said that this mascara was designed to make your lashes suitable for false lashes. You know, which means, I mean, I don't wear false lashes, but wouldn't that mean it has, it like, it should lift the lashes so that they could blend in well with the false lashes? So show us the lifting effect or maybe show us two pictures, how it looks without lashes and how it looks with lashes. But to just like, <laughs> with lashes on, lies, lies, the lies and deceit. Oh, Nikita. Patrick Starr, what is it? One Size Beauty. He released um, powder foundation. Here's the thing. I'm not looking for a powder foundation right now. And if I was, I would be buying it from Fenty. The reason why I won't be buying it from him is because recently, or maybe like earlier this year, he was caught... I don't know, licking the hazardous dumpster dump that is Tana Mojo's mouth. And I'm not, I'm not going to support that during a global pandemic. Patrick Starr, <laughs> I need to be nicer. <laughs> so no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, Colourpop. Okay, so I took the liberty of counting the amount of launches that ColourPop has come out with since my last video, my last like reacting to new launches video. That video came out in January 11th, 2020, okay? And since then, ColourPop has released, hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 new launches since January 11th, give or take a few, because I, I only went through like trend mood i might have missed a few but environ environ 18 what is environ in english around around 18 um launches i'm gonna go through a few though i think two or three the first one i'm gonna talk about is the oh this one i actually thought was cute i like this one this is the lizzie mcguire launch the palette boring like come on this is y2k 
they could have done so much. The, the, these colors are so bland. They're so whitewashed, you know? Like, they, it looks like they have a white base. It's not cute. Am I red? I'm sure I am. It's fine. I always have red cheeks. Um, like, it's just not, it's not doing it for me. But the packaging, I think, is so cute. The blush, too. Too pink, too white. You know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's icy pink. And I don't like it. I don't like it. But the packaging, I think, is so cute. I love the design on the front. I love, like, the little cartoon Lizzie holding flowers. I have to say, growing up, I've always hated Lizzie McGuire. I thought she was so annoying. I was more of a Miranda girl. You know, I loved Mar Oh, I loved Miranda's hair. It was everything to me. I wanted her hair. She had, like, this thick black hair with the bang. Oh, so pretty. Um... So if they want to give us a Miranda collection, maybe, maybe I might consider buying it. But this is just like so bland, you know? You know? As for the lip glosses, I was, I was all, like I put this in my cart and I was ready to go. And then I saw that it was a plumping lip gloss. I don't mind plumping lip glosses. The only one I have is the Too Faced Lip Injection. My sister bought this one thinking it was gonna be a regular lip gloss and then it burnt her lips and she never looked back, so now I have it. And I put some gold highlighter in it to make it a gold lip gloss. And it's a very good, like, it's ooh, ooh, ooh it's, it's, it tingles. Um, but I think that's enough for me. I don't need another one for the, that's the only reason why I'm, I didn't buy it. And like, it's sad because I think the packaging is so cute and I would love to own it, but like, plumping lip gloss. Ew. And the glitter thingies? No. No. I have no use for that. But aside from that, wait, is it just glitter gel? Oh, and a lip scrub. Let me tell you something about lip scrubs. I have this e.l.f. lip scrub. This one I have in the color. I guess it's not a color. It's just color clear. It's a brown sugar lip scrub. It looks messier now. In the shape of a bullet. It's so convenient because you can just, you know, I used it this morning actually. Um, this is so much better than having to grab it with your hands and rubbing it on your lips. And this was like $3. So if I would recommend a lip scrub, I would say the e.l.f. one is better than this. But if you want the Lizzie McGuire packaging, why not? I just know. What can I expect from ColourPop? They have 18 mediocre launches this year. <laughs> and I don't, it's more like, more like color flop. <laughs> The next launch that almost got me, like it almost got me, like I, it wasn't fully there yet. They released these like cute little quads that I thought were actually cute. I was like, okay, this is nice. But then I remembered, why? Why would I use this? What? I have all these colors in my collection. I need to stop thinking that I need makeup for travel when I don't leave my house. I never left my house before COVID. I'm not leaving my house now. Why the heck would I need travel makeup? I don't need it. And if I did, I would buy the Kaja Stacks. They have a better formula anyways. Here's the thing. Um, beige eyeshadow. I've talked about this enough times. I hate beige eyeshadow. It's useless. And I don't understand why brands keep adding a beige eyeshadow to every single freaking palette. Like, I understand white supremacy and all. But, like, beige is so useless. You need it in one palette and one palette alone. And if it's supposed to be a new palette, then I get it. But if it's any other palette, why add it? You know what? Let me stop talking. Let me stop. Because I'm too thirsty to rant. Okay, my mouth is too dry to rant. Okay, we're done. We're done with ColourPop. This is so cute. Elf released a collaboration with Chipotle. And like, this is, it's weird, but they did it well. I've never been to Chipotle. There's no Chipotle in my city. I've never had it. Some say like, it's really good and others despise it. So I don't know if Chipotle is actually good. Like if it has good I'm assuming it's not, like, it's not traditional Mexican food, that's for sure, right? But anyways, um, this is cute. I don't know, I like it. I love the olive eyeshadow. I, I don't know, I think I think it's well made. They they took a theme, they stuck to it, and I, I, I commend them for that. I love the bag that looks like um, a paper bag. It's cute. I love, love the avocado uh, beauty, like, sponge. Beauty sponge. I love the avocado sponge. If I can't find the SpongeBob ones, and if I find the avocado one in store, then I'm gonna buy the avocado one instead of the Spongebob one. I only need one, you know? Um, but yeah, this is cute. 
I love e.l.f. e.l.f. is one of my favorite brands, so this is nice. Jaclyn Hill. Oh, boy. Let's start with her earlier launch. So she decided to release lipsticks. Again. Mm -hmm. And she made this video where she was trying to empower others. Acting like she overcame adversity, even though she's the one who caused the adversity. Um, <laughs> I'm confused because she basically acted like Lipstick Gate was something that happened to her. Like she was the victim of Lipstick Gate. And it's like, um, Habibti, <laughs> we were there. We remember. Uh, you release hairy, moldy lipsticks, okay? Then told us nothing about it nothing at all hid for a year came back with new lipsticks expecting us to trust you <laughs> okay and now and then you acted like you were the victim of the situation not your consumers who spent their hard-earned money on moldy lipsticks you you were the victim no sahabti no no where's the logic or it's logic. It's nowhere to be found. And I can't trust her as a brand owner if she's not transparent. If she had just come out and told the truth about what happened with the first launch, I might trust her enough to support her with this new launch. But no. She also came out with bronzers that look the exact same. They all look the same. Like, I have no doubt that this formula might actually be good. Jaclyn Hill knows makeup. She knows what she's talking about, but... She's a liar, and I don't trust her, so she will not be taking my money. Thank you. Thank you. Now for the KVD Karen Vegan Beauty <laughs> um, Good Apple Foundation. This is the perfect example of why I don't like first impression videos. I realized why I don't like them after I made my very own first impressions video, only to change my mind on the product after I've used it. And then I realized like, maybe so many YouTubers have done that as well. And you can't just, like, trust a product based on first impression. So, like, so many TikTokers, right? This went viral on TikTok. So many TikTokers are like, this is the greatest thing ever. It's so full coverage. But it only, like, looks good on skin for 15 minutes, according to YouTubers who did, like, a full-on review. Um, it doesn't, like, stay on the skin for too long. It's just, like, it's, it's not good. And that's why first impressions videos, especially one-minute videos on TikTok, are not good. And I don't do full coverage anyway, so no thank you. I won't be buying this either. My wallet is happy. My wallet is excited. Melt Cosmetics released yet another 420 collection. <sighs> Melt, I understand that you like weed. Many people do. Astaghfirullah, not I. I am an innocent little Muslim. And no, seriously, I've never smoked weed in my life. I'm sure it's <laughs> great. But, um, like, I get that you like weed. You have two collections already, and this is the third one. We get it. The first two, especially the second one, was freaking great. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, I loved the green, kind of earthy tones of that palette. I thought it was really good. Like, this one, it's like gray, ashy tones. And, like, I don't see weed when I see this. To be fair, I know nothing about weed. It, it's just that you're doing too much at this point. You know? You're doing too much cool it down you know maybe move on to like other herbs give us a basil collection i love basil i'm going so fast like i'm really speeding through this it's because bailey sarian posted a video and i really like i really have to watch her and i'm also sleep deprived and i guess i'm hyper when i'm sleep deprived so that's a little weird anyways hindash <clears throat> released a new uh released his own brand my mouth is so dry <clears throat> and it's a very confusing palette. To be honest with you, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to, I feel like you'd have to be a pro to use it. Not that I'm not good at makeup. I wouldn't, I'm not a pro, that's for sure. I'm not, I didn't go to school, you know? I, I don't know how to use this, yeah. Like, it's a genius idea. Like, one out of one little square or rectangle of pigment, you can get multiple different shades, which is freaking genius, right? But, like, I'm the type of person who'll just go like this and blend it out my eye. I don't really see a gradient when I look at this. I just see like, like for the top one, I, brown here and like white here or maybe gray. I don't really see different colors. So I don't know how to use it. <laughs> and I wouldn't get any use out of it. So eh, 
yeah no i want to support more arabs i really do but it's out of my price range and it confuses me yeah okay thank you goodbye next product that confuses me is from prism libre prism libre what brand is this oh givenchy oh it's givenchy okay yeah, Givenchy, Givenchy, how do you say Givenchy in English, Givenchy, whatever, Givenchy, whatever, um, they released loose blush, a little quad, little square with like quads, like separated into different blush colors. What confuses me about this is how do you put it on without mixing all the blushes together? Like I would just grab it and you know? <laughs> hmm. Like, there's no way it won't get... It's very inconvenient. Yeah, this comment said the packaging, though, very inconvenient. It's very inconvenient. I don't know how I would use it without mixing all the shades together. It, it would have been better if they had separated, but, like, loose blush? Why loose blush? And who needs this many blush colors in one collection? And the, is it pigmented enough for deeper skin tones? I have so many questions. This is really confusing. Do they have another quad for deeper skin tones? Like for deeper skin tones, I imagine like a nice berry, a purple, like deep colors. This is not deep. So is it pigmented enough? But I'm, I'm only assuming it's gonna like cost you at least a shift, you know? At least like a day of work. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry Givenchy. Oh, I didn't talk about the Kaja stacks. Yeah, Kaja, which is a Korean American brand owned by Sephora, came out with these stacks, a kind of bronzer blush highlight stacks, which to be honest, compared to the Anastasia ones, do they look any better in terms of depth? I guess they do. Yeah, they do come, I guess, deeper. The, the bronzer is deeper. For a Korean brand to have... A bronzer shade this deep is not common so i guess that's good deeper skin tones can still have that like beautiful korean formula while also having shade range shade range that works for them but also for me like three blush huh three bronzers is not sufficient you need more you need more but if I were to buy, like, out of the Anastasia one and the Kaja one, I would buy the Kaja over the Anastasia one. I love the kind of nude pink blush. I think that's very cute. Ooh, I didn't even talk about this Fenty Beauty. Oh, my friend, Fenty Beauty. Oh. They released what I thought was an April Fool's joke. And what other people was thought was an April Fool's joke was a lip gloss that you can clip onto anything, either your pants, your purse, your whatever, and then you would scoop it with your germy little dirty fingers like this and apply it to your mouth Ow! during a pandemic. Fenty, how we lost it? No, this is such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. And even after COVID, like, COVID has really opened my eyes to, like, our disturbing behaviors. Like, why do we not have um, hand sanitizers at supermarket? Why have we not had them always, you know? Why have we not kept so much distance between each other always, you know what I mean? And this is not something I'm gonna buy even after the pandemic, even after I get my vaccine. No, it's really gross. So no, Fenty was a really bad idea they should have just like taken it back and said oh april fools my bad i have a picture of hyunjin from stray kids right here and he's kind of distracting me just a little bit nyx came out with a tetris um collection that is beyond ugly and stressful it makes me i'm like looking at this palette stresses me out it's it's too much too much they should have separated it like they did in the picture I did. They like like okay, let me let me draw you a little a demo, okay? This is the palette, right? Okay. It's not perfect, but it's that they could have had like a little separated it. They could have done something like this. Wait, where is that? It's right here. Like it's ugly, 
but it would have fit the theme. And each one could have been a specific color. You know, this could have been like a green themed little section. Yellows and reds, pinks and purples. Like, you get the idea. Could have been so cool. What a missed opportunity. They just threw a bunch of colors together and were like, hey, do something with it. And it's like, what a f missed freaking opportunity. Yeah, too bad, eh? A good old Canadian, eh? Ooh, I'm not done yet. Kaleidos. Kaleidos. Is it Kaleido or Kaleidos? I'm not sure. Cosmetics released a collection that looks very, very similar to Melt. Like, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, this is Melt. This is Melt Cosmetics. This is another one of their 420 collections. But this is the Flower Punk collection. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Like, the packaging is out of this world. It's so so beautiful but it looks very similar to melt i'm done i ran out of energy okay bye you know i'm done for today i have to go watch bailey syrian's video okay so goodbye yes i finally filmed finally Lower your gaze. Okay.